Today on Ridge Roamer, Nala and I are going to be installing the Carperide navigation system on my Triumph Tiger 900. So I absolutely love my Triumph Tiger 900. It's probably the most versatile bike I own. However, with as much traveling and exploring as I do, I definitely need navigation. And so far what I've been doing is either using a quad lock with my phone on the handlebars or using the Triumph app and the uh, on-screen navigation. The on-screen navigation doesn't show a true map though. It shows your, um, you know, your destination, how far away you are, when you're going to get there, how many miles and turn by turn directions, but it's not as good as a true map system. However, to get the true map system, you know, you have to have your, uh, your phone out on the handlebars. I know that's not a big deal to a lot of people, but I don't like doing that for a few different reasons. One, in the direct sunshine, it does get hot and it can overheat. Second, the vibrations that you get on a handlebar mount are really not good for your phone, especially for the stabilization system in your camera. So you, it is possible to destroy cameras by using that. Um, and then being able to take that off, put it in the bag and, and Bluetooth to here is great, but then you lose capability. So I've preemptively installed uh, this little GPS mount here that replaces the uh, bar for the windshield adjustment that I just got off of Amazon. It was like 20 bucks. I'll throw uh, kind of a picture up here, but super simple to install. You just take off the, the standard bar and, and put that in its place. So let's go ahead and get this unboxed, see what all is included, and then we can get to the installation. Nicely packaged, very well protected. So it looks like we've got this integrated system with a little sunshade here, a little visor uh, to help keep glare off. Mounted with a ball and socket style ball on the back. And then we've got uh, a quick detach here, looks like it's a, a threaded style going to power. Other items in the box here. We've also got the ball and socket mount, which will use a handlebar type clamp, um, or I'm sure it's pretty universal. Uh, we'll give it a try on the on the ram ball here just to make sure it's going to work um, standard looks like a standard one inch though uh, but it includes everything you need and they've got a little wrench a fuse and the instructions this here looks like we've got an alternate connection to go to usb if you don't want to hard hardwire it to the battery, I think that's the way I'm going to go. I do have a 12 volt socket on the Tiger uh, right up front and I keep a converter to go from the DIN style plug to USB. So I think I'm going to go that route. Let's go ahead and get this mounted up. Um, double check here. First thing, I keep a RAM style mount right on my toolbox so I can watch or listen to music or whatever so double check that yep standard one inch ram so if you've got existing ram mounts that's gonna go and uh, and, and work right away which is awesome let's get this thing mounted so just to note that the uh, mount the ball mount that they include this style you can actually use on uh, clamps of uh, clutch perches and things like that on a lot of bikes so that makes it versatile um, you can go around the handlebars if you want it mounted down low uh, you can mount on anything that basically has a, a round surface it'll go around some of the large diameter 
or the small diameter. So we're going to go ahead. Or I'm gonna, I want it mounted up here. And I've got standoffs. Uh, if you need them for down here, they include the washers. They're self locking nylon type nuts, which is very handy. that mounted uh, just for reference this is a 10 millimeter uh, ratchet that I'm using you may ask why do you want it up here instead of down um, out of the way honestly I, I don't know I'm just trying it uh, I may decide I want to move it down low but I kind of like the idea of having it up high so it's in my field of view and I'm not having to look down all the time so maybe I won't like it maybe I'll change it but for now that's the way we're gonna go so the mount is in place now with this style connector it's just a locking collar that you can unscrew then it unplugs so you can use either the USB style or the direct battery Again, I don't know that long term I'm gonna like it mounted up here I just wanted to try and I may actually use a shorter arm and a different mount but again six one half a dozen of the other you can put it anywhere you want for right now I'm gonna give that a try and again you have both options available for uh, power you can go direct to battery with this one or you can do a USB conversion so that's the way I'm going to go. So we'll get these pins lined up. Thread that on. Now I have this, this universal DIN 12 volt power supply to USB that I use on my Tiger. So I'll go ahead plug that in. And then we can work on routing these wires a little better as well. But essentially we'll just be coming around behind and then plugging that in. Now that everything's plugged in, it immediately comes to life. This is the point where we're going to get our phone out as well. And see here, it should be pretty self-explanatory. I've honestly not looked at the directions at all. But let's go here. Let's go to Bluetooth. It is discoverable. Let's see what's on here. Let's make mine discoverable as well. Go to Bluetooth, there we go, it comes up with Car Paride, we'll select that. Pass key, pair. Wireless Android Auto is connecting. It's connected we'll go to music so there is the last thing I've been listening to it's playing so this is just using the Bluetooth system of course it's going to play to wherever you have it paired to audio wise which for me is a headset in my helmet looks like all that is is doing exactly what it should be Got a full 
equalizer here so I can get in and customize the, the sound output. Nice. It's showing that I'm connected by Bluetooth. Go to the wireless Android Auto. Now we're in the standard wireless Android Auto system that I see in my Jeep, as well as uh, any of my other Android Auto devices. Go to Maps, I can go to Music, I can make phone calls. Super simple setup, um, showing I've got 5G, what my battery life is. I can go here, be able to see all the different apps I have available or download more. So, loving that setup. Super simple. We'll go ahead and peel that part off. Always satisfying. So one button on the side. Long press will power it up or power it down. Can change our brightness level here. menu screen. We can turn that display off if we're doing something where we don't need it. Well, there you have it. Carparide, Android Auto, Apple CarPlay system installed on the Tiger. Doesn't get much easier than that for installation, so don't be intimidated by doing something like this yourself, especially if you've got USB capability to plug in or you just want to tap in to 12 volt somewhere else on the bike or at the battery. Um, highly recommend. We'll see how the longevity is, but it seems well built. Definitely a lot of capability for the money. If you're interested in one, I'll put a link in the description down below. Um, yeah, super excited to have a full tech package now on my Tiger as well and not have to deal with the cumbersome Triumph app integration or keeping my expensive phone that I rely on for a lot more than navigation exposed on the handlebars. So two thumbs up from me. Highly recommend. Get you one. You won't be disappointed. Hope you all have a great day. Ride safe.